Hello there, and today we're going to be talking about coordinate frames. So what is a coordinate frame? A coordinate frame defines what a position is with respect to. Imagine that you and your friend are sitting facing each other. If you say something is on your left, you have defined a coordinate frame based on where your friend is sitting. Anything that is to the left of that direction they are currently facing is on their left. This is great because no matter what direction they or you are facing when you say this, what is on their left is clear. This is an example of what we call a body coordinate frame. It is a coordinate frame that is defined based on the pose of some object, in this case your friend. Another example is ships. Aft is always to the back of the ship and it does not matter what direction the ship is pointing. A body frame is really useful for relative measurements, like there's an obstacle 10 meters ahead of you, or for local directions like head backwards. The problem with body coordinates is that the relative measurements change as the object moves. Therefore, it is often useful to have a coordinate system that can serve as a fixed reference. This fixed frame is called a global coordinate frame. A great example of a global coordinate frame is a map. Your position on the map can change over time, but any arbitrary position on the map will remain in the same place. In other words, you can take some information gained in body frame and transform it into global coordinates and it will remain in a fixed position. Now I'm going to start talking about coordinate frame conventions. Remember that anytime I say a convention, that usually means it is like this in a specific field. Robotics is a multidisciplinary field and each discipline has its own way of doing things. Typically when I say common, I mean the raw standard or what I've seen in my own research. You should always check what coordinate system is being used on a new project before making any assumptions. Note some simulators will have really wacky coordinate frames, so always double check what they are. We will adopt the raw standards in full for the rest of this course. So now that we have defined what a basic coordinate system is, we need to define what units we will be using. Ross defines some standard units for every coordinate system. So we will be using meters for length, kilograms for mass, seconds for time, radians for angles, and hertz for frequency. All of these are outlined in two documents called Rep 103 and Rep 105 that is provided by Ross. Next, we're gonna define some axes uh, for our coordinate system. So all robots should have a body frame that is defined based on their current position. And the body frame will have X as the forward direction, Y to the left, and Z is up. There's also a fixed global frame with X pointing east, Y pointing north, and Z pointing up. And when we are working with cameras, like we will be in this week's exercise, there's a different coordinate system where Z is forward, Y is down, and X is to the right. So we have different coordinate systems called frames in ROS. So there's a couple standards that have been outlined. So the first one is that we have some base link, and this essentially defines the body frame of your robot. So this will be usually at your center of mass or something like that. The next two common frames are fixed global frames. So ODOM is a frame that can be inaccurate, but the relative motion of the object in that frame will be accurate over time. And then the second one is map. So map the position of the robot will always be consistent, but this coordinate frame can suddenly jump. There are suffixes we can add to coordinate frames to define something that deviates from the Ross standard. So often we have this thing called the optical frame, uh, which will be using the camera frame we talked about in the previous slide, which differs from the standard body frame we've also talked about. Here we have some examples of what coordinate frames will look like in the Ross system. So we have a couple elements that define things around our body frame of the robot, as you can see here. And then we will also have our ODOM frame, which is fixed. So that was the basics of coordinate systems and how we define them in ROS.